good boy. That's that's Jerry's voice. Brady, what does daddy say? What does dad say? Yes, he does. Very good. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Brady Update. Um, many of you have been asking, especially over the last year, and in the comment section of the last two videos, how's Brady? What's going on with him? Can you update us? And uh, I guess I was kind of surprised that so many people are interested in the dog, but I guess when I look back, Jerry always included Brady in the videos, and you could at least hear his little claws on the hardwood floor and stuff, and I think that's pretty cute. Um, I remember when he first got him, <laughs> he sent me this voicemail, and he was just screaming. He was so frustrated. Brady was a little baby, and um, he was into everything, and he needed to film a video when he couldn't do it. He didn't know what to do, so he had to pick him up and hold him. And he was in there going, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. And then he'd look at Brady and go, Raw TV. And Brady's like, has no idea what's going on. But that's actually why Brady was in the videos, because he could not control him. And he was losing his mind and couldn't think. And uh, sometimes I look at those videos and I remember how frustrated he was. And for some reason, it just makes me laugh. Um, the last year... You know, it's been interesting, obviously, on a lot of levels, um, and Brady's no different. And I feel like, in a lot of ways, Brady is like another person. You know, I've seen him, I think, grieve, not trying to project how I feel, but what I think is grieving and learning and, and adjusting, and I think overall he's adjusted pretty well. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, a few years ago, I told Jerry, I said, I'm going to teach him to hit the buttons and communicate with me. And he laughed and said, forget it. You will never be able to do that. You're ridiculous. So challenge accepted, totally got the buttons, totally taught him. It was on. He now has uh, 12 buttons that he uses and he's good at them. And uh, even Jerry was like, this is unbelievable. I cannot believe you taught him. And I said, I can't believe you didn't have any faith in him that he wouldn't learn this. So it's all become relevant over the years and especially within the last year is if everything is about communication. Uh, I got lucky in the weirdest way about a year ago, about a year before Jerry's passing, Jerry and I got in kind of like a, like a little tiff. Kind of, I don't know what to call it, but he said, you know, I don't have time to just cater to his every whim and and revolve my whole life around him all the time, 24 seven. I have stuff to do. Like, I can't, I can't just do that. You're spoiling him. It's just so over the top. And, and you're making it a tough thing for me when you're not home because he expects the same behavior as me. To which I replied, I am not watering myself down to make you feel better. Step up and be a better dad. And you might think, well, that's a weird power argument, but it, it kind of isn't, right? Because he sensed that Brady was pulling away from him in a, in a way in their relationship and it hurt. And I think that is true with friendships, relationships. Anytime you feel like an animal, a person, another being that you love so much is pulling away from you. If there's that distance, it hurts. And we kind of just had to agree to disagree a little bit. Um, however, I'm so glad I did all of that because it has set us up to be so successful in this last year. He's been able to tell me things, ask, you know, ask me things. There's, I, you know, it's not like there are question marks. Okay. But enough where he gets his point across that I know he's asking me questions. Um, so obviously, so Jerry passes and I run to Pittsburgh, like jump on a plane, go. I had called a dog walking company. The owner came and got him, uh, kept him at her house for, you know, overnight while I was in Pittsburgh and then brought him back like within an hour of me getting home, just incredible people. And he got home and was like, what the hell was that? You know, he could tell he was walking around like, what the hell is happening? Jerry's bags were in the foyer. He went over to them, smelled them, got excited, started running around the house, looked at me and I'm like, uh, yeah, um, run to the window looking for him like it was his car pulling in and I didn't know how to tell him that he wasn't coming home so a couple days later you know we have a lot of different buttons with a lot of different words and one day I was in the kitchen he was in the living room and I heard him hit dad 
which was one of the, you know, we had mom, dad, Brady, he hit dad and he walked over and he looked at me like this. And I was like, Ooh, um, I'm so sorry, baby. I don't, I don't know. He's, he's not coming home. I don't know how to tell him, you know, but it was his way of being like, what, what gifts, you know, dad's gone on trips. Dad's been gone for days, but like, why is his stuff here? But dad's not here. If he knows if he sees a luggage, then Jerry should be there any minute. And he hit the dad button one other time. We had um, Jorge, Jerry's best friend, Jorge, and his wife, Yumi, were over. We were all in the living room. And there's a sliding glass door that goes out to the, like, the patio. And Jerry loves it there. Like, it was his place. Like, when I, if I went to bed, I needed something. I got up. He was always on the back patio. And um, we were sitting here. The, the blinds were up. It was dark outside. And he was looking out the window and he walked over to the buttons and he hit dad and he walked back to the glass. And we all just went over there and we were like, are you kidding? And I looked at them, I said, thank God you're here. No one would believe me. And we all just, and so I went right over to the door and I'm like, let me unlock the door. I pull it open and I'm like, are you here? (laughs) And Brady was just convinced and he had to go out to the balcony and he had to come back in, but it was just a way of communicating um, what he's thinking. And I appreciate that because when he finally got his appetite back, which took a little bit of time, I had to start cooking him chicken and rice and hand feeding him and stuff. What I noticed what he would do is he would finish and I would say, you know, good boy, you ate all your food. It's making a big deal about it. He would go over and we have all these buttons and listen to this. Good boy. That's that's Jerry's voice. Brady, what does Daddy say? Does Daddy say you're a good boy? What does Daddy say? Show me. Can you hear you again? What does Daddy say? What does Dad say? Yes, he does. Very good. And he would hit, and I'd say, "You are a good boy. Daddy would be happy for you." And Jerry also recorded hungry as just a way to, he'll tell us if he wants a little bit more food. And he doesn't lie, he doesn't overeat either, but he'll tell you if he wants more food, but it's become a thing now where he'll eat and then he'll go over and make sure I know he's a good boy. And I, I think that's wonderful. And I'm so grateful for that relationship that we can communicate like that. Because in October of this past year, There came a day where he wasn't able to walk and he was not eating and not drinking water and scared the living hell out of me. I picked him up like a giant football, which was 38 pounds of a football, all weight in the front. Of course, crying my eyes out. And it turns out he has a spinal problem. He has proliferations in his spine, which translates into um, his legs are bad. His back legs, especially his one, shakes often sometimes both shake Um, and sometimes it shakes a lot sometimes just a little bit but it's not going to get better there's not a cure this is a a manage it thing not a fix it thing so we are making it work and he has some anti-inflammatories and i bought a dog stroller laugh go ahead put it all in the comments laugh at me go ahead oh my god you bought a dog stroller but hear me out it's not time quite yet but soon he likes to go on long walks and he loves to go over the shopping center. There's a little coffee shop. People sit outside, they bring their dogs and their geese, actual geese near the pond. He loves it, he's so happy, so social, but it's too far now for him to go. So we can walk part of the way. I could put him in the stroller, take him to the shopping center. Then he can walk through the shopping center, happy as a little clam, put him back in the stroller and then I can bring him home. And also um, there are about 10 dogs in this neighborhood very dog friendly. Everybody likes each other. Um, We walk as we call it a pack walk around the block and uh, the neighbors call it the dog parade. (laughs) Can you imagine they actually sometimes sit outside and they wave when we go by? Um, But he can't, he can't go very far, very long. So this will give him an opportunity where he can walk some of it and I could put him in the stroller and then he could still be part of the dogs and they can still all walk together. So I don't care if I have to put him in a baby Bjorn. If I have to, fine. Put that dog in a baby Bjorn. I'm going to figure it out. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Whatever he needs, whatever he wants, we're going to figure this out. His legs are not getting better. 
And that's something that I'm working with and trying to figure out how to manage. Uh, it's one day at a time. Some days are worse than others. Otherwise, he's healthy as a horse. All of his blood work, everything else, he's perfect. No problems at all. So I hope that gives you an accurate view of how Brady is actually doing um, in the last year. Overall, really well. But if you see some images of a dog stroller in the next six months, don't be surprised. We're just doing what we can to keep him comfortable and also so we can prolong how long he can walk and how um, happy he is. So um, comment down below if you'd like more videos like this, if you would like an update in other areas uh, about Jerry's life that maybe he didn't touch on as much as you would have liked. And I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.